The flow behaviour of Newtonian fluids. The secondary flow at low Reynolds numbers for a Newtonian fluid is directed radially outwards along the bottom rotating disc, up the side walls, in along the top stationary lid and down the central axis. As the Reynolds number is increased, a phenomenon referred to as axisymmetric vortex breakdown occurs. In this case, the axial flow suddenly stagnates and due to an adverse pressure gradient, recirculation regions occur along the central vortex core. The lower recirculation zone, or second vortex breakdown bubble, is very weak compared to the upper recirculation zone, which is referred to as the first breakdown bubble. The recirculation regions grow in size as the Reynolds number is raised. Two sets of recirculation regions, or bubbles, are present in this case. As the fluid travels down the central axis, the axial velocity goes through a maximum just below the top stationary lid. This close-up shows the distinctive features of the breakdown regions, which are joined to form a single structure. The flow becomes unsteady at large Reynolds numbers above approximately 3000. The breakdown bubbles are shown to oscillate in position.